a new day, an old project. I have this board managing my uh, 18650 cells or packs for a while, but I saw exactly the same number, BW34S100A, advertised for managing lithium iron phosphate for packs. So what I want to do today is to test for real if the numbers are correct and it can be useful with those kind of batteries. So I'm going to test the over voltage, I'm going to test the under voltage and I'm going to test the short circuit and of course the balancing possibilities of this one because let's say we have a 3S for lithium batteries that means a 4 in series for lithium iron phosphate 4. So it's a kind of uh, interesting how these things are working. By the schematic we have four cells lithium iron phosphate 4 but we only have three balancing parts let's call it three balancing roots so one of the cell will be out of balancing so let's have the load on that is an 8 ohm resistor over there we have a 3 in series spec through the BMS and we can check that by the voltage and the wattmeter connected in through. Let's wait for the numbers. Anyway, let's see if the BMS is doing what it has to do. I mean, do the overcharge protection, it's saying to 4.28 volts, we'll see that. And then first we're gonna have a discharge, over discharge protection and that will be around 2.5 volts by the chart. Also, there is a short circuit protection, a temperature protection, and many others. But for me, now it's important to see when, at what voltage, the BMS is disconnecting the pack. So the BMS have a few section. It have the balance section. It have the charging, discharging, and short circuit section and of course the power section of those MOSFETs leading the power in and out. The charging and discharging uh, shortcut and many others are controlled by a microcontroller DWA01A and that's a battery protection device for a single cell lithium battery and protect the cell from over and under charging reverse connection and short circuit. You can uh, use this for the over voltage for under voltage on the battery side of course and uh, for load protection it's uh, use it for high circuit short circuit and reverse charger connection the balance section it's uh, very the same like this module over here and it's using a circuit uh, bb03 and then uh, and channel MOSFET. I couldn't find uh, too much about the circuit, but I suppose it's an OP, operational circuit, and keeps uh, uh, the voltage in between the cells in a, in a certain level. It's doing the balancing, throwing the extra voltage through a power resistor. Let's get back to the test. 9.1 volts now almost there 8.9 8.8 0.7 8 .8, and finally 8.31 volt let's follow the weakest cell it's in the top the red one so let's check the voltage over there we're going down to 2.5 and that's it 2 0.52 volts so I may say the BMS is working as it should it's disconnecting the cell exactly at the right voltage let's start the part 2 of the test this is the overcharge protection so the pack was load with an IMAX to almost full now I'm applying a voltage a damp voltage I may say to the pack and I have to see the reaction of the BMS so there is around 12.8 volts now charging the pack or applied to the pack through the BMS of course let's check the voltages over there first of all the input voltage 
that's kind of 12.88 volts that's nice now let's rise it to 14 volts and we have 402, 408, 402 also so it's looking like uh, it's doing the job now we have more than 15 volts and the same voltage is over there so I can say at this point I can say for sure the BMS is doing the job it's disconnected the pack at 4.08 volts in the specification it was 4.28 you can see the voltages in the pack are very close and this is nice that means the balance part of the module is doing the job and we have to do a final test let's check for short circuit we touch plus and minus on the charging port and it's disconnected to connect again to have power again we have to disconnect the load the load now it's that uh, wattmeter once again and it's gone perfect but let's uh, let's have a test about how much current it's sensing for a short for a short circuit and it's looking like around 10 amps now i'm shorting the board through my amp meter on 20 amps scale and I can say it's pretty fast look there nice okay so the cell uh, had been connected by the night to the BMS let's see the voltages now the first element 398 volts second 402 and the last one 401 so they are pretty close I may say the balancer is doing a great job but if I consider this working with uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries well I have a doubt over here first of all we only have three charging discharging under voltage and all the other protection over here for lithium iron phosphate uh, the schematic should be like connecting the main plus over here and uh, afterwards or the other cells but here it's nothing to do with the balancer I, I really don't know so I don't recommend it also the overcharging cut off on this it's 4.08 volts by my test so I'm afraid this is a little too much for lithium iron phosphate for batteries the disconnecting voltage it's okay it's 2.5 volts so that's okay but uh, not uh, overcharging protection you can use it just for discharging over discharging protection thank you for watching please like and subscribe and i'll be back with some other projects soon don't forget to have fun be safe bye bye